Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I'm going by the kills. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yes! star drag good morning good morning good morning it's your buddy mikey here at sd fish and sifts welcome back to the channel welcome back to the garage i know how much you all love this garage and i love this garage too so today i'm going to be talking about beginner yellowtail fishing reels specifically in my opinion uh conventional style star drag uh reels these are going to be uh, at the introductory price, the lowest price level, and they're going to function however you need to be able to catch the La Jolla Yellowtail. Uh, that's how I started off of the kayak. I just put out that video. That's where I got the feedback, and I wanted to do this real video. It was from that video. I'll flash the card for that. But I'm going to be talking about those Daiwa Sea Line and Seagate reels that I used when I was fishing off the kayak back 2014 through 2018, and then more recently now that i've been fishing on the solo skiff and the boats i've been using some of these pen reels the uh, fathom and the jig masters for each of these reels i'm going to talk about uh price point uh the functions of it the features my experience with it the pros the cons and you'll be able to check out all of these reels in my amazon storefront if you click the link below it will take you to my Amazon storefront. And if you buy anything, I'm gonna have all these reels in there to start with that I'm talking about today. So you can check it out directly through the Amazon link. And then I'll also be adding to that with different rods, uh, tackle, lures, line, uh, equipment for the solo skiff, rigging, all that good stuff. If you click that link and you use that link to get into Amazon and then you buy anything off of Amazon, I make a commission off of that and that money then go back into the channel, help me making videos and hopefully inspiring and helping you all catch fish. So before we get into the rest of the video, if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe, pound that like, join channel memberships, get a donation during one of the live premieres. All of those are ways that you can help support the channel, keep this dream alive. I wouldn't be here where I'm, I'm at today without the help of you all. So thank you all for the love and support. I feel it every time I wake up, I go out on the water, just to be able to live this life of what I'm doing right now, it's all because of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get into it. So the first reel I'm gonna be talking about here is the one that I got my most recent yellow tail on, and that's the Pen 25 Narrow Star Drag uh, power model. This is the power model. That's the four to eight to one gear ratio, 30 pounds drag, and it's got 495 yard capacity of 50 pound line. I have 40 pound blue braid on it right now uh, with some white braid underneath also 40 pound. This has 32 inches uh, per crank recovery on it too. And then you got your free spool. That's how you engage it into gear right there. And then here's the feature on the star drag. That's how you're adjusting the drag. It's easy to adjust the drag on that. And then here's your, uh, how easy the line goes out. So if you're fly lining, you know, you can use this for a dropper loop, fly line, yo-yo iron like I did, uh, even surface iron. That's why I originally got it was for the surface iron. Just kind of depends on what rod you want to put it on but this is a very very durable i've gotten a service once from squid co but overall it's a super durable uh reel very powerful very capable of handling uh la jolla yellowtail the msrp and what i have it on my amazon storefront is 240 for this reel with no line on it so i'll flash to some clips now of that yellowtail of catching it uh with using this reel first recommendation here for yellowtail beginner reels pen 25 narrow star drag use it for the yo-yo iron 
surface iron, dropper loop, fly line, anything you want. Hoya Yellowtail. It's a yo yo life, Taddy 4 0 life. Wintertime fishing here. Thank you all for watching. All right, the next reel that I'm recommending for beginner La Jolla Yellowtail reels is the Pen Jig Master that I have right here. I was using this a lot on my solo skiff in 2021 and also on the boat, the Grady White with uh, Shane. Got uh, Yellowtail yeah! on the troll with the Nomad. Yeah! off of the solo skiff also got the thresher shark uh, on the boat with shane and so this is a nice solid reel right here it's running it's going to run about 199 dollars 100 dollars msrp you could probably find it for cheaper uh used online has a four to zero to one gear ratio uh, it just comes in this one size 15 pounds of drag 250 yards at 65 pound mono and 25 inch recovery rate on it you got the engagement here and the uh, clicker on the side over here with the star drag i got it with some braid 65 pound moss green braid on it but i haven't been using this because i fried it out and it started uh i can't remember exact reason why i haven't been using it but i haven't taken it in to get serviced but this is a very economical these are still pretty durable um, it's not going to have the same amount of, of drag and capacity as that 25 star drag, but it's still solid. It will do the trick, get it done. I have the high speed version here too. You can see it's uh, thinner, but I got the high speed, um, pen jig master reel right here. That's got a, a five to one gear ratio. And then my newer edition, thanks to JR, I have this pen squall star drag 15 casting special cs it has a special knob on the side here what i learned from the shimano guys is that the wider reel is better for surface iron and for casting so this is the newer version kind of the of the jig master or of a little bit of a step down from that fathom these are running at 190 msrp versus the 240 250 for the fathom it's got 20 pound drag on this 245 yards of a 20 pound mono capacity i have braided line on it white braid 50 pound and it's got 31 inch uh, recovery rate pretty six to one to one uh, high speed so this is the pen squall star drag i've been using this recently i have my sabiki on it right now but I've been using it for dropper loop and sabiki and good stuff. So that's with the pen jig masters and pen squalls and next set. I'll, I'll flash to some clips now of me fishing the jig master for yellowtail on a solo skiff and uh, thresher shark on the boat. Enjoy. Here we are. Let's go, baby. Yeah. On the nomad troll. Oh, this guy's now he's digging down a little bit a little more head shakes Yes! 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 On the 
nomad! <laughs> yeah, it's at the sh shark, dude. One of the last real recommendations I have here is my the first conventional star drag reel that I bought, which is the Daiwa Seagate 30H, the high speed that you can see here when I was fishing on 2014 on the paddle kayak. So this one runs $150 uh, MSRP, six to one to one gear ratio, 15.4 pounds uh, max drag and you're gonna get 380 yards of 40 pound braid uh, line capacity with the 35 inch uh, recovery rate. So I use this a lot for fly line mackerel in La Jolla off of the kayak. And it's a, you know, for the price point, 150 bucks, you can't, it's, it's hard to beat. But the thing is that I, I went through a couple of these reels. They didn't last as long as they weren't as durable as some of the other reels you can burn out the drag on some of them but here i am pulling on this is in september of hey, i might be coming for you this guy's got me good on a the whole yeah, yellow tail something nice with the seagate <laughs> star drag reel get a bait of water the dude there's a the lot of fish here i just on the put side that of it seals coming up messing with my yellow tail but i'm able to secure it and get it without the gaff just grabbing it by hand like you saw with the other yellow tail on the pen jig master Whoa, wait. there it is seagate 30 daiwa star drag reel good beginner setup now here it is the sea line 30. so this is ten dollars cheaper 140 dollars for this reel here too very similar to the seagate just their step down and they make it in a it's a high speed all of them seem like they're high speed with the six to one to one gear ratio and uh 15.4 max drag on this regular 30 and then they have the ultra high speed it's got 17 pounds of drag on it the regular has 36 inches recovery rate or you get 46 inches with the super high speed yeah. So the sea line is a classic, really good reel for beginner La Jolla yellowtail. Here's another one on the sea line right here. Fly line yellowtail in La Jolla. The drag is nice and smooth when you're first bringing it out of the box, but after pulling on a couple fish, It starts to break down, but there it is, just classic. Bam. Beginner La Jolla Yellowtail off the kayak. Sea okay. line, another one on the sea line. This was my personal best. La Jolla Yellowtail out there was on the sea line. This was on the dropper loop. Dead sticking, frozen dead squid on the dropper loop. Wintertime, January, out there in the fleet of boats. You can see him, it was a sunrise bite. But just. Sleigh ride, really, really hardcore sleigh ride, trying to stay away from these boats. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to come over this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your call whether, you know, you think that $10 difference for the Seagate has a couple different little parts and pieces. I don't know the exact details, 
of why it's ten dollars more but you go with the sea line there it is you can see i have a couple of those sea lines on the back of that kayak and here's another one on that same setup that sea daiwa sea line 30 conventional star drag reel with the la jolla yellowtail this one was also on the dead stick dropper loop between 25 and 30 pounds i think 26 or 27 pounder going back to the seagate reel here on the kayak hooking up on the fly line nice yellow. cranking oh. away Got the hockey stick gaff. Old school back in the day. Got one! There's Nom when he had his kayak. Doesn't have that anymore, but he had the, the Hobie with the electric motor also on it. Classic. And then here we go, this is my last fish on the Seagate reel, that's the 38. Shane's also fishing a Seagate also there too. Double hookup, fly line. Wow, Pacific Greenback up. mackerel in La Jolla, that 30H. Cranking on yellowtail. $150 for this reel, that's with no line on it. He's close. And then I get, ended up giving this to Polar Bear Dave, and he's got it down in Mexico for the sailboat for fishing. Off his sailboat down there, I'm not using these reels anymore. Right Stepped it up, that's what I'll get in the next videos. Will be intermediate and then advanced setups. So there you go, Daiwa Seagate and Sea Line. Third set of reels recommending for La Jolla Yellowtail, beginner La Jolla Yellowtail fishing. So there you have it, that's gonna do it. That's it, that's all for this video on beginner yellowtail fishing reels. Uh, I focused on the conventional star drag uh, reel starting off with the pen 25 narrow, pen fathom. This is gonna set you back about 250. And then I moved on to the Jig Masters, uh, pen Jig Master, this is only a hundred bucks, cheaper one. And then you got the Daiwa Sea Line and the Seagate, those are 140 150 dollars so that's it that's all thank you all for watching the video make sure you check out my new amazon storefront i'm going to have the link for all these reels you can buy them directly from that amazon storefront link that also helps support the channel if you haven't already smash that subscribe pound that like and i'm going to go ahead and get ready for coronado islands fishing tomorrow captain nom freedom boat club stoked on that one love tight lines